at 2 on Channel 3. Okay, spring is right around the corner. If you were like me, you are very eager to get out and work in the yard. Chances are with COVID this past year, you've been cultivating that green thumb of yours a little bit more anyway. So it's the perfect time for us to get you excited about the native plant sale coming up uh, in the month of March, all part of Tennessee Wild Ones. Beverly Inman Evil joins us this morning along with Christina Shaneyfelt. They're going to get our green thumbs even greener. Good to see you both. Thanks for having us here. Okay, so as I understand this, Beverly, I'll start with you, and that way we're not stepping over each other. Um, what the way this is going to work is this is in part a virtual event, and then a real life put your actual hands on the plants plant sale coming up at the end of March. That's right. So March 19th through 21st, we have a three hour seminar, very in depth about trees and then seven different speakers. And some of these speakers are, are the, the grandfathers of native plants. And then on the 27th, we're having the native plant sale at First Horizon um, Pavilion. And we have over 10, um, vendors there so wow and food trucks it's gonna be great okay christina i'm getting ki a kick out of hearing your dog in the background so just <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about a thing we all have a dog at home and that's the way the world works uh these yeah. days talk a little bit though about the beauty and the power really of including native plants in your landscaping so when you're thinking about um your planting plans and uh and getting ready to put your hands in the dirt. One of the things that has been prominent over the last few years is the need for pollinators and native plants um, are plants that are local to the eco region that you live in that these insects have um, evolved with. And so in addition to being beautiful and having um, long bloom periods throughout the year uh, or successional bloom periods throughout the year, they're really helping to increase our pollinators and to give them the food they need, which then of course in turn feeds our birds and so on and all the way up to us. So uh, native plants are a great addition to any landscape, whether you already have a laid out plan or whether you're starting from scratch. When you're talking about these pollinators, and Beverly, I'll throw it back to you now, within the seminars, will you have any uh, classes about how to plant some things that might keep pests and bugs away naturally, and that way we're not having to use pesticides so much? Is that a concern for the pollinators? Actually, we have a class about the importance of insects. So when you have native plants, you have pollinators, but you also have these little teeny tiny insects that are food for the birds, for instance. So while a native plant will bring more insects, they're not the in, you know the invasive kind, they're not damaging, they're actually helping not only the plant, but they're helping the world. I used to be afraid of bees, um, and I have found with my native plants that they're, they're everywhere, but I can walk right up to them with my camera and take a picture. They don't care. There's so much to eat. They just go to the next plant. I had a conversation just a day or so ago with Stephanie Wilkins, who was with the Center for Mindful Living here in town, and she was talking about depression and anger in the midst of COVID this last year and some things they're working on toward getting people outside. Uh, more to offset that emotional uh, negative. I'm sure you've seen an uptick in people wanting to get involved with gardening because it is such a stress reliever over the course of this past year, true? Yes, definitely. I'll throw it to you, Christina. You're trying to be <laughs> polite and not jump in. <laughs> yes, so um, it has, so just being out in nature, they have done many studies that just being outside um, in the calm quiet is, uh, is helpful for your blood pressure. It's helpful for your peace of mind. It helps you to refocus. Um, and so those benefits are already studied, uh, you know, food forests or, um, or forest bathing or all of those different types of events are helpful for us, um, and our overall health. So when we think about that, we also need to think about the health of our planet and that's where all of these insects come into play and how important they are. And it can be um, 
incredibly stress relieving just to sit there and watch all of these tiny bugs that you would never even think about in your day to day. Mm -hmm. Um, moving on and doing their product, their productivity work. Um, and then them kind of being able to take a deep breath and then move back into all the things you have to get done in your day. So with the upcoming event, the virtual event, that's March 19, 20 and 21, you do need people to sign up for that ahead of time. And is there a cost associated with joining virtually? Yes, it is. A, they are both um, the seminar on Friday morning and the uh, symposium portion itself are both paid events. You can see all of the details for that at tnvalleywildones.org. Okay. We have a specific place there. Um, our Wild Ones members do get a discount. And then, uh, Beverly, with the plant sale that comes up at the end of the month, is that something where it's a first come first serve for the items available at the pavilion or do you make your orders ahead of time and then you pick up? How does that work? It is free to the public. Uh, it is first come first serve. Uh, there will be so many plants there. Uh, it, to my experience, um, Chattanooga has never had a, a native plant sale to this extent. It's, it's just going to be fabulous. So bring the family, rain or shine, uh, because it's under the pavilion, um, it's going to be great. And I want to mention one other thing. Uh, if the dates of March 19th through 21st do not work with your schedule, anyone who registers online, the courses in their entirety are available for six months. So you can go back or you wow. can you know, relearn, um, it's, it's a wonderful opportunity. That is a great thing for you to mention. I'm so glad that you put in that plug. So let me share again uh, the website that people can go to to go ahead and sign on and maybe also learn about becoming part of the Wild Ones on your own as you develop that green thumb of yours. TNValleyWildOnes.org is the website. Again, it's called Plant Natives 2021, the virtual symposium coming up that weekend in March, then the plant sale itself coming up at the end of the month. Welcome spring. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate you having us. Don't 